What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Lecture Fan Channel. It's a new vlog. It's a new weekend. That's how we do it. I got up this morning, Saturday morning, 8 a.m., left Billings, drove over to Manhattan. Me and Lecture Fan Senior are going to uh, restore some cast iron that I purchased off of the internet. I'll show you in a little bit. So this is all just stuff that, what, you've got recently? Or what's all this cast just doing out here? Well, yeah, this is a griddle that I restored. It's got the old gate marks on it. So you think it's from 1903 or older? Yeah, or because maybe, of the... maybe, maybe 1905. I think they quit doing gate marks right around there. That's really cool. So those two slash marks on the bottom. But it doesn't have any markings or numbers on it? Nope. There's kind of something, I don't know. It almost looks like they tried to make a number, but it's... It's not. Right, that's a pretty good surface there. <laughs> yep. And this pretty bad little fry pan, this one's no good. You're gonna sell that one back, or? Yeah. Just because you don't like the surface? Yep. Cool. Then use this bunch of fry pans. Bunch of fry pans and a Dutch oven? Dutch oven. Well, this is what I use. This is just a lid that I use. This is the one I was gonna show you. Let's take this out in the sun. Oh, and then, see, Dave, I gotta, I gotta, re, I gotta refurbish this Dutch oven. <laughs> nice. See, that one's all rusted out. Holy cow, that one is in bad shape. I don't know that I'll, I don't know, you can't, this will end up with really bad. Pit it out. Pit it out and stuff, so I don't know. This is an old Wagner. So that one's not really worth doing anything with, but this thing's a cool old, this is a Oh, nice with this handle one. you were saying? Yeah. With the handle and the. Spider legs, they call and them. And the spider legs, that's cool, yeah. So then I got that to put in the wood-fired oven so I can reach in there and, cause, in order to slide it in, slide it back. Right. Out. Yeah, that's I interesting. I did this once. I don't know. I got to clean this and get this little bit of rust out of there and re-oil it. So is this the one? Is this the only one that you've ever seen that has the spider legs and that handle? Yeah. And this is a weird lid. I don't know who makes this. It's a. I don't know who made this. Doesn't say. Well, maybe somebody on YouTube Look will comment that. and tell us. Look at that old. You know, just the pore marks when they. Oh, yeah. They probably had a tool they shoved down into the, you know, silica sand that they dump it in or whatever. And then it just kind of left these little marks. So this is a pretty old, I bet you this thing's over, older than 1905. I just don't see any marks. It might not be, but it's a nice old That's ball. a cool one, yeah. Yeah. So that's a, like this thing and then that big griddle. They're odd, out of the ordinary stuff I've never seen before. <laughs> nice. Whoa, that's a cool little guy. Yeah, it's a it's a little Dutch oven, and it should and it should have spider legs on it, but somebody ground them off. No way. Why so would you do that? I like Dutch the spider legs. Because they wanted to fit in their oven and not on cold. That's the smallest little Dutch oven I've seen. What could you even cook oh, in that? We, no, we've got small ones. You get you got smaller ones. Dutch ovens than that? Yeah, and like when we when you stack them, you know. You oh yeah. One we'll put you know, a bunch of onion or cauliflower, broccoli, something like that, beets and cook. Chicken. You could almost, it's like, really, okay. But it's it's almost like you could do a, it's like a cupcake size almost. Make a big cupcake in there. You could, you could. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so there's this, I mean, and the more you do it, the more you find odd pieces, it's fun like this. That was odd, when I saw that, I, I wanted it. Yeah, that's a really odd one. And then that one with the, but it'd be good, you stick it in the oven, throw in a couple of potatoes, three potatoes. Get some <laughs> potatoes in it, I suppose. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, this is the, this is the stuff here we're working on restoring. This is the Griswold tight top number nine that I got off of Craigslist, along with these two, this big 10SK made in the USA D2, and this little guy. And then these are my dad's that we're going to be working on today. That one's the roughest probably. But I like this one because it's got that thick. That, that and then this one's be, really cool too. We have one that has, looks like this. And I think it has a lid on it and they call it a chicken roaster. It's a little bit oh, really? bigger and taller than that. Here's the stuff that we use. The stuff that's here in the house that you Here's use? What, yeah, that's what we use. So, we got these two griddles. Those are two just little. did your hash browns on those. Do hash browns and tortillas on those. <coughs> and then, these are sweet surfaces. 
Look yeah, at that. that's so smooth. It's like glass. Yeah. It's smooth as glass. That's a nice one. That's a, look at that old, it's the eight underscore three G. I don't know what that means. Here's another one. Look at that surface. Feel it. Yeah, that's what, oh my gosh, that's amazing. That's an incredible surface. See? Eight inch, inch skillet. It's like the original nonstick. It's, oh, it's, yeah. And then I've got these big, I've got these big ones here. And here's the nice big ones, look at that. Oh Number my nine. gosh, yeah, look at that surface too, wow. That's an incredibly flat and smooth surface. That's a big old, that's a large That one's in wall. good shape, holy cow. I wonder what year that is. Well, I'd be able to tell by this number, maybe. Here's a number 10. Nice big Look number that. 10. That's a great one, and that's that also has sort of tall sides. That's a small stamp Griswold. Small stamp Griswold, baby. See, large stamp. See the difference? Oh, wow, yeah, cool. That is a huge difference. Which one is which? Like, how? which one's older? Uh, I'm not sure. I think the, I don't know. We'll go try to figure that out. Cool. But you can see here, see how the flat, there's this little flat triangle looking thing? That's also indicates Griswold. Oh, really? Yeah. I wonder if mine, what mine have on. Look. Wait, did both of those have that same on the, that same triangle? Yeah. Either both Griswold, large stamp, small oh, yeah. stamp, but they got the little. See, this is a, this is a number 10, but this SK, is, so this it's, is, this is like what I have then. This is like yeah, what, see, exactly three, what I have. Yeah. And so I think this is an old Wagner. And see, it doesn't have the triangle. It's sort of, it's got a flat right. surface, but it doesn't have a triangle. Right. See, this is also, this identifies this. See that, that oh, hammer? yeah, that's got that, yeah. It's, it's called hammered, or, yeah, I so like that those identifies little, it. So what are you cooking that little guy? Uh, Two eggs? One egg. One egg. Two egg, yeah. Okay, so here's, here's, look at this nice big Dutch oven. Oh, that is a big one. That's, hey, a, that's nice and seasoned, and yeah, mm, this so, one's in really good look shape. At, look at that lid. Oh, it, cool. Cool, so that's your Dutch oven at number 10, you said? Yeah, it's a number 10. It's got the number 10 and that little number, you can see it there, it's D-O. Yep, I Stands for it. Dutch oven. Yep, and no... And no, uh, no, uh, gate slash marks in the... Cool. In the heat ring. So is that the biggest Dutch oven you have, a number 10? I think it is, yeah. Cool, so mine's one size smaller, mine's a nine. Nine. Oh, yeah. and then these little nipple things, these are a lot, like, sharper than, the, than mine. Mine are, like, more rounded. These are, like poking out. Yeah, these are like way better. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, they, they are nice. That's auto basting because then the moisture yeah, comes goes up to the thing, gets on, coagulates and drips back down so it base, base whatever's in there, your roast, your chicken. Or right. Whatever. And then I always do this. This is the, this is a little trick. You, you keep moisture going in and out so it doesn't rust. Oh, like out right. there in the garage, that one's got a little rust in it. See, now this is all stuff we bought. That's, this is all Lodge stuff. See, this that you bought. This is Lodge. This is brand new. Brand this is new. A pizza. It's a. Pepper. Where is Lodge manufacturer? There's. I'm not sure. I think they're Aren't they American? Aren't they American? Or oh, this so they. This is Lodge too, but, but this so is a big griddle pan. Okay, so this one isn't. This these are newer. The, both of those are newer. Yeah, these are. We got these in a store. Right, okay. And then same with this, this is Lodge, this is a- That's pretty cool though. Yeah, this is a um, wok. So that's that's our new stuff. And then here's, you know, this is an enameled- Oh yeah, I've got one you like got, this. You got this. Yeah, I like which this. Which is nice, and it's got the- no, Yep, no. it's got the same. And then the only other, we this is a Martha Stewart, and then the one upstairs that we have is the Le Creuset. It's oval, but it's not quite as big. Wait, uh, Dutch oven upstairs? Yeah, I forgot to show it to you. Okay, I was, was going to say, I thought you had like six or seven Dutch ovens, and I've only seen, this is the only Dutch oven I've seen that's inside well, here. this one, and there's the one in the garage, and then there's this one, and then the one upstairs. So there's one, two, three, four. Four, and then you've got a bunch up the cabin. And then this is, this is pretty cool. That's an Evil Skeever pan. <laughs> oh, nice. Where'd you get that I fixed one? I this. I got that at the auction cool. See, it's, I don't know how old it is it's but that's to make a little round evil skeever what the heck is an evil skeever I'll make some for they're really, really they're, they're really kind of a sweet Danish oh that's a lot say made in France well that's cool yeah so I don't know what year this is but Where'd it came you? with it came and some other stuff I bought so I kept it because I thought it was kind of cool oh that's a nice one yeah that's in good shape Made That's in the USA though. See, these are, here's nine, the deal. These, I think the reason these are down here because they're all made in the USA's. 
which means they're newer than 1962, but they've got good surfaces. You know, because there's that there's that era where they still made them like the old ones. But they also started they doing the new out like the lodge, and then lodge screwed it all up. And now they're all pre-seasoned and yeah. See, here's another Dutch oven, but you have a word for that one? Oh, you don't. See, and that just needs to be scrubbed out. But cool. It's in good shape. What is it? It's a number it's eight, a number D -O, eight so whatever. D O. So that's the same as this one. So you need to find yourself a number eight D.O. lid is what you need. Dude, wow, that's this. a nice big one. That's cool. That's, that's made in the number USA. 12. Number 12. I wonder who made that one. I don't know, but okay. Oh, here, here's, here's a little note. Three and a quarter inch diameter cross in double circle block lettering, also known as large block logo, 1920 to 1940. Cool. So this large block logo. Whoa, cool. Large stamp Griswold. That's a cool one. 1920 to 1940. Which wait, what does this that large, that, block that large? So that one upstairs that we were looking at that was a large one. It's 1920 to 1940. Exactly when you might wow. be able to determine by this number or something. But this one is is uh, it's either nickel or chrome. I think it's and then this is some Taiwanese made thing. Oh really? Is that that is for cupcakes? No. Uh, I don't know what buns. it is. It's a little. This somebody probably knows what this is, but it's a. It's, I'm sure it's going to be something like an evil skeever pan or something where made for biscuits. You put, or... Yeah, you put pancake type syrup, yeah. you know, it cooks it, flip it over, then it's got this symbol on it or blanks. Or maybe what you do is you do this is the bottom, this is the top, this is the bottom, this is the top, something. I don't know. <laughs> nice. make, make a little sandwich. Or I don't know. <laughs> That's don't know awesome. What, you what haven't, you is, haven't used so. it? No, I've never used it. Nice. I guess while we're down here, might as well show the man cave on video. Look at this. Couple little things full of aging whiskey. Super nice, comfortable chairs. Bookshelves. Fire pit down there. Music for listening to music. That's it. This is the man cave. I remember when I was studying for the bar exam in the summer of 2013, I'd come down here and sit on these chairs and study for the bar. Look at these little... Is that, what is it? Oh, it's just, it's silver plated stuff. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And here's a little, like a little liqueur glass or something. <laughs> nice. And you got these when you were in Africa, right? Yeah. When you were in your 20s or whatever? Yeah. That's cool. What's this thing? Smoker That's for bees. Yeah, it's an antique. Whoa, there's a duck right there. Oh. Whoa, there's a freaking that, duck right there. We gotta get him out. He's stuck, do you think? He is stuck. How can he can fly, can't he? No, not with that. Not straight up like that? That's crazy. Well, look at his mu his Whoa! I heard him outside earlier. Look at his nose is all muddy. I wonder if he's been crashing and he's trying to get out or something. He, I, yeah, I thought I'd get him out of there, gotta show Jake. I guess as long as we're getting all of the cast iron, this is, uh, yeah. this thing has seen better days. Well, I clean that about once every two months and get all that mineral in the salt with it. Do you? Blackens it right up, put a little oil on it. Uh, are you just gonna climb down there? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna allow it. It's okay. What kind of duck is it? It's a mallard. It's a mallard. He's <laughs> We should eat him, eat him for dinner. He just tried flying and he can't get out. I oh know, he's trapped. He's feeling bummed. Hopefully he doesn't whack me in the face. I'm gonna hurt him, I think. Look at him, he's all nervous. Why don't, why don't we get, you know what, I could put him in a bo an apple box and just bring the box up the side. Oh no, that would hurt him. Oh, not really. I just grab him. Just step down there and grab him. You have you ever been pecked by a duck? <laughs> <laughs> have you, Dad? No. You gotta do it fast. <laughs> Wait, I'm I trying not the to. Camera. <laughs> Would you get him? Yep. Nice. You're free, you're free. <laughs> He's 
bill's all full of mud. He needs to go get... Well, I think he was digging in the mud. Are you okay? You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. He's saying thanks. <laughs> he goes, dang, I wonder if I should get him some water in a bucket or something. If he's he's a duck. Him. He'll be fine. He'll go right over. I thought you had one more Dutch oven to show. Well, this is that Lake Crusade one. It's, it's enameled. Oh, okay. But that's cast iron. I mean, it's... Right. You know, it's a... This, we spent way too much on money on this. This is a Lake Crusade. This is probably like 160 bucks. So this is, we're getting started on this Dutch oven, this number nine tight top. And then when I bought this, it was freaking, this just grossed me out too much this the way it was. This is really nice, Dave. In fact, I'm not sure you even need to <laughs> process this, but we'll get really? this. We'll get this thing cleaned up so you really, that stands out. Cool. Really nice. Holy cow. Look at the side even, look at that. This is a good one. Yeah, there, I'm seeing a little bit of rust and stuff right there. A little bit of red. Well, we can surely process it. So that's all you gotta do before you throw it in to yep. the oven on? So you're not, you don't have a tight top like that in your collection of Dutch ovens, or do you up at the cabin? Yeah, at the cabin I have one. A tight top? Well, I don't know what you mean by tight, just, just the- Well, that's what it's called. That's called a tight top? Tight top top oh, no, don't have one of those, nope. Oh, you don't that have a tight top? Cool. No, that's, that is really nice. I wonder if they called that because they made this ring so nice. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, see, this is what weirds me out. Like, are you gonna get it to all look the same before you throw it in the oven or no? No. And then when we get done, it will look the same. See all of this? That's this all going to be gone? This off and cook Oh, it will? Yep. Really? Well, how do you get the rust off of there? Because it looks like there's rust on this one, so, too. It'll cook, it'll cook out. And then we will use this stuff again and soap. And then we rinse it really good. Then we cook it and dry it off. And then we add oil. And okay. I'm curious to see how this, yeah, how this turns out. So, if you cook them upside down like this. I thought there was gonna be more like scrubbing involved to get all that stuff off, like you'd have to sit there and work at it. Well, it, when you end up having to work at it is after once you, after you do your first clean. Once you cook it. You wanna do the, yeah. Sometimes well, the first you have hot. to scrub on that pretty good. Or, and, and then if they're really tough shape, I've scrubbed this really hard before too, but just to get Before your first cook? Yeah. Yeah, yeah see this'll, this'll tune up really nice. I'm excited for this. Griswold. It's a Griswold because you can tell because it has inch skillet written out. Spelled out. Ten and a half inch skillet, and so it's made in the USA, which means post 1960s. But because it has a flat surface, right, smooth. or a smooth surface, you it was made before, before the 70s, probably. Yeah, I anyway, so just so we, people know what we're doing, we just got done watching this 30-minute YouTube video about how to identify vintage cast iron and so that's why we know all this stuff now is because we just watched a 30 minute YouTube video on it. The size number and the mold letter. Yeah, it says, it's got the size on the handle. But it doesn't on the bottom. What's it have on the bottom? Nothing. Completely unmarked. Which means that could be an 1800s. Yeah, this, this could be, that's a nice pan there. How heavy is it? Cause then you have to feel how heavy it is compared to other pans. Do we have another five here? Here's a five. It's Ooh, pretty light. It's light. Feel how much lighter it is than this one. Oh wow. Holy cow, this one is way lighter. Oh, um, that's a BSR Century Series, 1966 to 1992. N-O for number, I-N for inches, with heat ring. Yeah. So, so, so that's a ridge on the back of the handle. It's a Birmingham. That's yep. got that ridge, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Birmingham oh, cool. stove and Range century Stover. series. Century series. Well, that's what this is. Here, let's write that down on that I didn't one. Bring my little note thing down. No. Cool. That's a, these are two really cool BSR. Yeah. Oh, that BSR. Yeah. So yeah, you well, take those, David. <laughs> Hell yeah. This one doesn't have made in USA on it, so this one's old. Uh, yeah. It says the only. This is the Rocky Mountain series. Only marking is the size number. Oh, it's the Rocky oh, Mountain it series? Mold, it said a mold number, too. 
Well, this doesn't have anything. All, the only yeah. thing I like about it is it's got a complete heat ring and no markings. And it's yeah. a BSR. And it's got the BSR handle thing. And it's nice and... And it's nice and light. Feel the difference. Yeah, I can't believe that. That is heavy. And what is this? That's a Griswold after 1960. Okay, so this is an 8DO Dutch oven. That's a lodge, and it was made before 1960. So you're looking at it, you've got an old old lodge here. Yep. Well, and, and the deal is, it's 1940. If you ever started lodge, started in 1940. Doing those? Oh, so that could, so 1940 to 1960. That's either, that was either made in the 40s or the 50s. So that's 60 ever, years old. If, so this is a, yeah, this is a lodge, number 10 lodge Dutch oven. Probably made 1940s and or the 1950s because it doesn't have made in USA stamped on it. So this is a Dutch oven from the 40s or 50s, which means this thing could be 70 years old. Yeah. That's and a it good. Can last that's another thousand. You know, if so you take care of this, this, there's no reason this can't last 300 years from now. You know? <laughs> that's that's in good shape for being 60, 70 years yeah, old. What, I think. Are, okay, so this huge thing is an 1800s. Thing because it has that gate mark which comes from the manufacturing process right here and they cut it off or a flash mark they call it this is a really cool hibachi barbecuer you should see what it looks like when it goes up how do you put it away yeah you got different levels that's pretty cool that's pretty cool. And then you put those up to kill. And then I'll show you, here's this little, little thing there for like, if you gotta change the height. Go like this, I think. Yeah. No way. <laughs> well, cool, that's awesome. All right, we just, uh, we let the cast iron cook in the oven clean mode. That's the same swing that I grew up swinging on. No, 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 they just put that up. But it's on that, that was where the old one was too, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, pretty or, or on that limb, or the other limb maybe. It's same neck of the woods. Let's see, same neck of the woods. Let's see what this cast looks like. Holy cow, it does look kind of crazy. So, let me, yeah, so. Whoa, is that, that's what mine? Yeah, this that's is, mine? Yeah. Holy cow, that looks totally different. Yeah, see that's all. Now you don't want to put that in water yet. Right? No, 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 not yet. Great. We've got to cool it all down. In fact, I'm gonna see, look at all the rust coming off. See that, you can see it way better already. Yeah, see how it just already is. Yeah, holy cow. See that, look at that surface. It's a good surface. Oh, oh yeah, looks yeah. like it, there's rust on it though everywhere. Yeah, well it kind of brought all that out. Look at that. See, when this cools enough, we'll wash this and all of this rust will come right off. Cool. This is a, this is a lodge. Oh yeah, you're right, it's got the three. Oh, no, it does. doesn't. Yeah, it does. I see the third more. Right yeah, it is, and it's got the 10 SK. The, the oh, only sure. lodge does the SK. Oh, yeah. See, so that's another, that's a lodge. That's another lot. All this rust that was on there and stuff. That's amazing, all that rust comes off like that. So we'll cool, let that cool down, just so it's warm. Or to cool to the touch, because we don't want to break it. You know, we shouldn't submerge it in water. Boy, that really, yeah, that really does get all that oil off of there and seasoning, huh? And it'll blacken it right back up once you start Will using it. There. We can use this on them to get all the rust and everything. Then we'll scrub it really good and we'll dry it with some, we'll go get some paper, well, some cloth. We'll dry it, we'll stick it on here, we'll heat it up, we'll put the very first coating on. There's a nice bunch coming up over there. Those are chives right there? Yep. And then those are all chives? Yep. And then this is my bedroom window that I looked at growing up. You've got succulents that actually can survive outside Montana? Yeah, they're called hens and chicks. Those are pretty cool looking. And they spread. And this is my Irish moss. And it looks coming back. Well, it looks green. Looks yeah. like it's got some green. Yeah. When did you put it? Oh, there. it's been there for years. Oh, really? Yeah. And it comes back in the spring? Yeah. The object of your mission is to explore the Missouri River and such principal streams of it as by its course and communication with the waters of the Pacific 
We offer the most direct and practical water communications across this continent. So this is the headwaters of the Missouri River. This is the Madison and that's the Jefferson. That's the Jefferson right there. This yep. is the Madison and then... The Missouri was really muddy. Was it? Yeah. It'll be up to here in a couple of weeks probably. Yeah, no, people, that's why people don't live, that's why there's not that many people that live here. Is it's, <laughs> it ain't easy. You have seven months of winter. <laughs> He's like, I like the winters. Yeah, the you know, it did, I... It gives you such an appreciation for the summers. <laughs> that's right. And the it's changing... The appreciation cycle. And the, yeah, and the changing seasons and... Unstable riverbank. That's crazy that it's just eroding right there. It's been doing it for years and years. I remember coming out here five years ago and it's the same thing. Can't really. It does look unstable. Dutch oven after repair job. Looks really good. Tight top Dutch oven. There's a pan that's been oiled. This one's about to get oiled. Here's a pan that needs to be oiled. Cleaning up this pan. That's a Wagner wear. Alright, so here's all of the cast iron that I'm taking home with me. Six pieces. This right here is a number five SK made in USA, which means this is a lodge post-1960. This is a 10 SK made in USA lodge post-1960. This is a tight top number nine Griswold patented Dutch oven patented in 1920 made probably in the 20s, 30s or 40s. This right here is a lodge, right? Made in USA. Oh no, this is no, this is a BSR. This is a cool, this is a cool one. Oh yeah, that's a that's, BSR. That other one's a BSR. These, yeah, this, these are both BSRs. Number five. Oh no, hold on. Yeah, that's correct because it's got the full ring. Because it has the full ring, so that's BSR. This one is a BSR post night, which is Birmingham Stone and Stove and Range. Stove and range. Birmingham Stove and Range. So this is a post-1960 BSR. This one is not post-1960 because it doesn't have... That's pre, yeah, and it's a better surface. And it's a better surface. So this one could have been made any time, I suppose. And then the little number... Three. Little number three. Wait, what was this when it spelled out? Isn't that a... Griswold. This Griswold is a, so this is a Griswold? Owen. Griswold number three? Yep, that's a Griswold. So I've got... Lodge. And Griswold spelled out the words. So this is a number three Griswold. So that's that's all of it. Cool. So I've got Lodge, Griswold, and BSR. And it's gonna take about ten minutes. It's been on. And so it'll, this will get that thing will get ash white. Well, really? No, it'll it won't get ash white. It'll be close. You'll see. It's. So what we have here are three fillets of redfish from the Gulf of Mexico. Redfish. Redfish called redfish. On the tail, on the tail of the fish on the outside is a little black dot about right here. Like if this is the tail, this is the head of the fish. There's a black dot about right here on the outside. Really? So how do you cook, how are you cooking it? Blackened. So you're gonna put stuff on it? Paul Perdue's. 
We're gonna use some Cajun blackening spice. So spice it up. Put some butter on it. Or do I butter it and then put spices on it? Then I need to see which way he does it, because he does it perfectly. Then throw it on this ash white cast iron skillet that's out right now preheating with the gas fire flame as high as I can get it on there. It's gonna turn, get us, he's, Paul Prudhomme says in the, in the recipe that you can't get the pot, the pan too hot. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. He says get it as hot as you can. Put the flame on it for 10 minutes and it starts to turn ash and white and you can't get it too hot, then you butter this, put the spice on it, throw it on, put a little bit more butter on, on the top side. Took for two minutes, flip it over, put some more butter on the back side. You just add it butter and butter and butter until cool. it's, it's so rich with butter, it's not good for you. But yeah. it still tastes good. A really healthy slice of fish and turning it right. into a very unhealthy meal. So. <laughs> nice. Wow, that's a lot of spice. There's not a ton of meat there. Nope. Oh yeah, there is. Yeah, I really you surprised even, once you eat it. It gets so full. You need to eat it like that. That looks awesome. <laughs> that tight top Griswold number no. nine tight top Dutch oven that I've got, my mom Googled it, the number no. nine Griswold tight top, and it was on sale for four hundred and twenty-five dollars on the internet. So on eBay too, so it might even be worth more. Who knows? But I got it for twelve bucks. Four. Okay, so, so this is an extremely, it is extremely hot it's though. It's extremely hot, but it's, yeah, it's not ash and white, but it's, it's getting there. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, that smells so good, I can't get over it. I know. Okay. That is so much butter. I guess no wonder it doesn't stick. It's got so much butter on it and stuff. See, it just becomes... See, and that's what you want. Wow. That's all the more you need to cook it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's done on that side for sure. You need butter the back side. Again? And then, if you do it the way he says, then you're supposed to serve this in a little bed of butter. Well, we're doing... You're doing that, aren't you? Huh? You're serving it in a bed of butter, aren't you? <laughs> no. Crazy. Now you can see why this season, three seasons of white oh, yeah. part of that. Yeah. Okay, so this is like done. Is it? Mm -hmm. Wow, that looks great. So it, just, it just doesn't stick or... That is blackened redfish. Delicious. That's worse, Dad. Huh? You always do it with hot water, right? Get that hot water. The temperature is so good. Nice. That gets everything off. Cleans it, huh? Mm hmm. Nice. And then you just wiped it out. Nice. Nice. Yeah, look at that thing glisten. I just turned on a time lapse out there of the sunset, so watch this time lapse while we're eating.